Jordan, it's Jasmine from Rambling Fashion, and today I'm going to be doing a collective haul video. This is a bunch of things that I've gotten within the past two weeks, I think, one week, one or two weeks. Um, time been going by so fast, I'm not sure which one it is, but I know it's not more than two weeks. So I have some online stuff that I've gotten, and then things I've gotten in store, and then on our day trip that we had on Easter Sunday. So, let's get right into it. I'm going to do two products that I got online, and it was from the website Beauty Bar. I had received a gift card to them through blogging, and I decided to pick up two products that I normally wouldn't pay for this brand, though I love the brand, but just because it's so expensive. But they had coupon codes, and I had a gift cards, so I don't need to pay for shipping, so that was really nice. And they are by the brand Jouet. Um, sorry, this camera's not the best. But I am, don't have much time and I'm running out of space. I'm my computer to do high, super high quality, which you know, it takes me forever to get everything off the computer and onto my passport that I'm just doing a webcam today. Um, and it's the Jouet Matte Moisture Tint with an SPF of 15. And I got it in the shade Porcelain, which is their lighter shade, so hopefully it'll work for me. Um, I have their luminizer um tint but it's just a little too dark for me i think it's pearl i think um but i really liked it um just i've gotten in the winter and stuff i'm a lot paler than when i can use it so i know i like usual way so i got this to try out sd from essie button loves this stuff and then um i know she really likes it and then i know that um ingrid from miss glamorazzi really loves the brand usual way so Thought I should try this out. The Jouet product is the Mineral Powder Blush in, I think I got Blossom. Yep, Blossom. And this is gorgeous. I used this with my um, Snow White um, costume. I have a picture of that on my Instagram. My Instagram is at Brambwood Fashion. And it is just a gorgeous. I just have a hard time opening this. Okay, there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just a beautiful peachy pink. It's just really pretty. I love it. So, yeah, and I think this was um, one of the girls on Pretty Little Liars wears this as her makeup look. I'm trying to think. Is it Aria? It might be Aria. So, got from that. Sephora, I picked up two products from Soap and Glory that I have been wanting to try out for a while. So, the first one is the Mini um, Righteous Brothers. Um, butter, which is just like a body lotion, and this was six dollars. This is their mini. It has a really perfumey smell, but it's pretty. I really like, it. I haven't tried it out yet. So I didn't try it out yet because I want to remember to include it in my haul video. So I got that to try out. I've heard a lot about Soap and Glory from like Fleur de Force, and then the other one is from Soap and Glory. And it is the Sexy Mother Pucker um, Gloss Stick with 3D Volume Lip Shine. And I got it in Plum Jam. And it's gorgeous. Um, like gloss stain kind of, but not too staining. It doesn't really stain that much. So I like to wear this over my Revlon Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie. Which is like my go-to. Right now I'm wearing L'Oreal Lip Product. And this was $18. So it's more than I typically pay for lip product, but I've been wanting to try this for a while. And it is a really nice um, gloss stick. I also went to Bath and Body Works. They're having a candle sale. And I only have like fall and winter scents right now. That whenever I burn them, it just didn't feel right. I wanted something springy and fresh. So I picked up two candles. So these were $11 each. So it was two for $22. And I got the Provence Garden 2014, which is the green. It's like very fresh. Let's see what's their thing about it. Let's see here. From garden to table, much of, much of French cuisine includes herbs like the ones in this blend of fresh garden greens, pear blossoms, and a hint of ivy. Oh yeah, I can smell the pear. I knew it was a fruit, but I couldn't tell what it was. Mm, it's really pretty. So if you like a fresh scent, check this one out. It's really nice. 
And then one of my all-time favorites, I had this one last year. It's the Market Peach. And it just smells like juicy peaches. It's amazing. This would be good to burn with like a cinnamon candle. Idea. I also went to Forever 21. I'll start with this brand, which I've already been using and it has been featured on my blog. It is the Red Sitchell, um handbag. This, and this was 1980. And it has... Whoa, it's not showing up really well. But it has a striped lining, but it's looking crazy. It's like this. It has a pocket back here. And then it has um, two pockets right here. So this one I put like gum and mints, and this one I put my cell phone. And that's the bag on. Well, and it's really sturdy, so you can really pack and organize things in here, which is nice. So I can have like my wallet, notepad, and a little makeup bag in the middle. And then on the sides, I have little things I need, like hand sanitizer, a mini um, body shop um, lotion and stuff. So it's really nice and handy. And I've been loving this bag. It's really sturdy for being from Forever I got this belt on clearance for two seventy nine. It has a little bow on it. It's just a light pink waist um, belt that I thought would be cute with um, like dresses. And it's really pretty. So this was on clearance for two seventy nine. Then I got a pair of sunnies for three dollars. Great for summer. I usually break my pairs anyway, so I thought why not go with cheap ones. And then I got a pair of these gorgeous earrings for two dollars and eighty cents because this is a gold tone. I've been really into gold tone earrings recently. I used to always just wear silver, and now I've been really loving gold. So. I'm mixing it up. Okay, next we're just going to do this bag since it's in the way. And it's from the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory. And I just got a t-shirt. And it was on sale and it was for $14.99. So. so it looks like it's just like a navy with like a flag and a baseball bat. So that's where they make baseball bats. It's really soft. So. I can't wait. This style of that. Next will be H&M. I got a number of things there because I had a coupon that I got in last month's um, Lucky Magazine where you got 20% off your entire purchase if you spent $50 or more. So I picked up a few extra things because I didn't come up to $50 yet and I really wanted to use coupon because if I used a coupon that would make it cheaper for my order. So, make it worth going up to the 50 mark. First thing I got was this jumper, and it's a high-low um, jumper, long sleeve, lightweight, and it's like a tan color, and this was on clearance for $10, and I've already worn it. I went with a black maxi skirt. Very pretty and very comfortable. But you look dressed up, especially with like statement earrings or a statement necklace. So, love this. And then this is one of the extra items I got to get my total up. And it's this hat that I actually wore in my Easter outfit, which I wore yesterday in my blog. So I'll have the link to that post down below. And this was $12.95. And then I got myself a sweatshirt since I only have one. And it's very hot pink, William & Mary sweatshirt by College in Virginia that I got back in 2007 when we we're visiting so I picked up another one and it's pink but it's a lighter pink so it goes with more things and this was on clearance for ten dollars so I got this and it has a hoodie and then I got this red um small polka dotted um blouse and this was $9.95 this you can't see the dots but they're like super tiny I just got that blouse and then this I also wore my Easter outfit post and it's this jumper that's very lightweight I thought it'd be perfect for it when we visit um hopefully visit California and out west this summer so short sleeves and this was $14.95 just like that and this is high low I think it's a subtle high low this looks more high low on me. So this is really nice and lightweight. 
And then this product I just got because the adorable packaging and font. It's a let's see, black volume a mascara. This was $3.95. It's a rose gold packaging. And then the font is just amazing. Can I get this open? Okay. I know it's going to be backwards because I'm a little okay, but can you see the font? Isn't it gorgeous? It was just so pretty that I had to try it out. I haven't tried it out yet because I've been gone most of the and I didn't want to try out a new mascara. Ooh, I like the one. It's nice and big and fluffy. See? So, I can't wait to try this. The rose gold packaging in that font, I had to try it. So, that is everything I got at H&M. To Target twice and then Walmart. We'll go with Walmart first. Okay. Let me get my receipt out. So the Easter candy was on sale. This I got today. And it, I got two bags of the Reese's peanut butter eggs because I adore these. And these were a dollar forty-four a bag. So I got two. And then I also picked up the Organics Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. I was going to get the coconut milk, but they were completely sold out. And this one, so let's see here. Where is it? Okay, 562. That's that. And then I got the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and Translucent Extra Coverage. And this was 597. And I've been wanting to try out this since going to Costume College a couple summers ago in L.A. at a vintage makeup class. But I've never was at Walgreens, I think is where it's typically sold. Um, so when I saw it at Walmart, I had to pick up it up because it's the traditional vintage face powder. And it has the traditional powder puff. So I cannot wait to try this out. So that will be fun. I got the hard... Candy Clamifage Heavy Duty Concealer in um, Ultra Light. That's, I'm light skinned. And this was $6 and also comes with a little concealer pencil. So we'll see how this works. I heard a lot of good things about it. And I'm on this hunt for like a great concealer. So I'll try this out. I got the L'Oreal Paris and Falbo Lip Glossy Stain in $1.90 Endless Red. I love my rose on and on, which I'm actually wearing right now, because it's such a great lasting stain. It's perfect for weddings, parties, traveling, because it stains and leaves color all the time, even when you're eating and drinking. And this was $7.97. It is pricey, but it's a great product. I think this one was $5.74, and it's the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection from the Center Stage Collection. Shimmer Palette in Rose Champagne Glowed, which is a highlighter, and it is gorgeous color. I haven't tried out that many drugstore um, highlighters highlighters that I thought I'd try this out because I love my Benefit High Beam so much that I kind of stopped searching. But I also want to try like the Balm, um, what is it, Mary Luminizer? I think it's Mary Luminizer. So I decided to try this out. And that's what I got at Walmart. I have two pet trips from Target, but I'll just show them all as one. Um, I got the Saving Mr. Banks DVD for $13. And then I got the Frozen DVD, which I think was $12. Oh, this was $13, too. So I got the Frozen DVD, too. So, got those two good right movies. And then, if you watched my videos last year, you will remember that in my April favorites, I have the Bunny Marshmallows. So I picked up two of those. These were 99 cents each. And then I got some candy and parents. I got the M&M chocolate bar for 38 cents. I got one, um, two for myself and then a bunch for my siblings. And then I love these, but I hardly ever see it. I got the mint um, dark chocolate M&Ms and these were also 38 cents. So I picked some of those up. And I also picked up the Food Network magazine and this was $4.50. Can't wait to try it. Especially since it has a thing on making your own macaroons and I love French macaroons. Not the American coconut ones, but the real French macaroons. This is all new for I have. 
allergy medication. The Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment for $5.99 since I'm having some acne problems. So I picked this up. My sister has the one, the very powerful one. The one that's a step up from this one. But I mine's not as bad as hers. So I got this one which is um, a little bit not as harsh as hers. So I got this to try out. Got the Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder in Fair. I've been wanting to try this out since I have the foundation. So I want to try out the matching powder. And I got this on sale with a coupon for $5.59. I had a two dollars off Revlon product. But I was wanting to get the Nearly Naked, I think it's the Nearly Naked, or the Photo Ready concealer. But our Target has stopped carrying it. So I got this instead. I got this Rimmel Scandalize um, Cool Pencil in Purple for $2.59. Got this tray out. I've never done a color one. Um, I'll go in phases of that one. Right now I'm really liking wearing it. But I've been doing black, taupe, brown mostly. And then in my water I do a nude. So I thought it'd be fun to try purple out. Maybe sometime I'll try navy. Then I got the Pond um, Cleansing Toilets for a dollar to throw in my purse. And then I got two things of cotton pads. They're both different. This one is the Cotton Rounds Exfoliating, which are supposed to be good for removing makeup and cleaning your face. And these were $3.79. And then I got the basic regular Cotton Rounds for $2.04. This is where I use to remove my nail polish. It's much better than a cotton ball. I find so. Okay. That. So that is everything I got. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video and seeing my haul. Cause I think it has been a while since I've done a haul video. So I hope you liked this. I know it's been a while since I've done any videos. I just have been gone from morning to late at night most days. So I haven't had time at all to film because. I need sunlight to film because I don't have any lights, which I need to get sometime here soon. Because I'm gone so much, I need studio lights. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you have gone shopping lately, let me know what you have gotten down below in the comment section. Because I would love to hear what you've been buying and what you've been loving. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye everyone.